Hey you bleeping no-lifers, welcome back to the vlog of Fjord Husky. This is the vlog that doesn't really understand what it's trying to be, but it's fun and enjoyable to watch anyway. Thank you for the patience and sticking with us throughout these last weeks. It's been pretty hectic, we're back here to show you absolutely nothing at all. But with all that being said and set aside, here is a very interesting piece of news. Look at these two dogs, notice anything funny about them? I don't think it takes a rocket scientist to see that we're about to have puppies. So here's Bunny and Skewer's little love sequence. Enjoy! Just so you know, it is actually quite interesting to see how dogs breed. It's not half as uh, exciting as most people would have thought. Just subscribe to our Patreon for special access to see the behind the scenes shots. Just kidding, next video when we talk about Storm Gita is actually when we're going to show you how breeding works, so stick around for that. Testing, testing, testicles one, two, yep, yeah, here we are testing the ice. We just bring our youngest and most useless dogs onto the ice, see if it doesn't break. If it doesn't break, I'll test it with my own fat <clears throat> beep, and then we take everybody on. Just kidding, we know that the ice is safe enough. We are never putting our dogs in that kind of risk, so anybody who's getting all kinds of triggered right now, it's a joke. Deal with it. Anyway, we're on the ice here now, socializing the dogs is really, really wonderful. The whole pack can pretty much be loose at the same time. Besides a very great chance for us to socialize with the dogs and enjoy the beautiful view on a day that might not be ideal for dog mushing, it is also very very important for the dogs to get this kind of varied training. Different types of terrain, different types of uh, soil to run on is great for the muscles and the heart and lungs to develop naturally and healthily. Here you see the start of one of our tours. Here in January, it's actually quite common to do um, pretty much two, one or two dog tours every single day. This is where we get our main source of income to buy, buy dog food from. It isn't an entirely lucrative business at the moment with the pandemic raging and destroying the industry. But that being said, it's pretty fun and the customers love it. So it's a very, very laid back and easy going way to get the dogs exercised, to get the customers happy and to earn dog food. When we feed the dogs, as you have seen many times before, we use a pulka in order to bring the food down to the dog yard. We don't want to carry all of it, it's way too heavy. We've developed this kind of a lazy habit of just letting go of the pulka on the top of the hill and it will pretty much slow down by the bottom. And then sometimes it doesn't. Oh or in this God. case, it goes horribly, horribly wrong. Sometimes the pulka tips over, the meat flies out and we end up spending way more time getting all the shit back into the pulka as we would have if we'd have just taken the the stuff into our arms and carry it down to the dog yard. Anyway, 9 out of 10 times it works out fine, this time it didn't. Whoopsie daisy. Thank you so much for sticking with us throughout these last weeks. We've tried to really, really upload a video earlier, we didn't manage to, so we're very grateful for those of you who are still around. Those of you who are just watching for the first time now, please like and subscribe. If you didn't like this video, go ahead and dislike. Tell us in the comments what you would like to see so you so you can enjoy it in the future. At any rate, just enjoy this scenery of a little nice sunset that we had at the end of one of our long, long runs. It was pretty, pretty windy weather, but what we didn't know that it was actually a foreshadowing of what was about to come. So stick around for our next video where we talk about the Storm Gita and how much damage it actually did to our dog yard. You don't want to miss this. See you in the next one guys. Bye bye.